Hello, my name is Jamie Cal, and I want to talk to you about safety around livestock with you today. Whether you are a farmer that works on your own or you work as part of a busy team on a farm, safety among livestock is of the utmost importance. Every year we constantly hear about deaths, accidents and near misses on Irish farms and I'm sure many of you watching today have your own stories to tell. In Ireland, agriculture accounts for almost one third of all workplace fatalities each year. When we look at fatalities on Irish farms that involve livestock, you might initially think the bull is the most dangerous animal on the farm. But in reality, as dangerous as he is, this is not the case. As we can see from the figures, over the last 10 years, 31% of deaths on farms caused by livestock were caused by cows. Cows are most dangerous around calving time, and there are a number of reasons for this. Up until the point of calving, the cow's priority is to keep herself safe from harm and to eat enough to keep herself healthy. Once the cow feels safe and has plenty access to food and water, she might be very content and placid. Once that cow calves down or begins to calve down, there is a hormonal change in her body and her priority now changes to protecting her calf from any potential danger at all costs. This is where the danger begins as many farmers can be caught unaware of the change in behaviour in the cow that this might bring. How many times have you heard somebody telling the story of a near miss with a cow and that she was the quietest cow in the yard? That's because the nice quiet cow that you were standing beside only a few hours ago might now have become a very dangerous and unpredictable animal since you saw her last. As she has started labour or has just calved down and you are still trusting her to behave as she normally would, there are a few things we can do to minimise the chances of an accident happening in the calving shed. One is to never turn your back on a cow or a cow and calf. Keep your eyes on the cow at all times. Two, never come between a cow and her calf. If you do need to tend to the calf for some reason, separate the calf from the cow, keeping a gate between you and the cow at all times. Three, is having good fertilities is essential. A good calving gate is not very expensive. It's definitely nowhere near as valuable as you or a family member's life. A good calving gate will ensure any difficult calvings can be handled safely, and if you need to help a calf to suck, again, this can be done with the cow safely restrained. And four, always have an escape route. Never allow yourself to stand in an area of the pen where you are cornered by the cow, or never allow the cow to stand between you and your exit. Simply leaving a small space between gate posts as an emergency exit could be the difference between near miss and a funeral. It's not just at calving time that we need to be vigilant of the safety around livestock. Every year farmers are injured or killed handling cattle while doing routine jobs such as dosing, weighing or TB testing. Again, having good facilities will make these tasks much easier and safer. It's here we need to recognise the importance of having a stress-free setup. If we can prevent animals from getting stressed, they will be calmer and their behaviour will be easier to predict. We can keep animals calm by firstly remaining calm ourselves, even when things go wrong and not rushing animals. A good crush with a funnel entrance makes loading the crush easier and less stressful. Once the crush is loaded, restraining the animal properly will actually reduce the stress on them. If an animal has space to move forwards and backwards or thrash their head while you attempt to dose or inject them, this will not only cause them to become stressed, there is also a chance of the, of the farmer getting struck or an animal attempting to jump out of the crush. This is where a good head gate and head scoop are a vital piece of equipment. Once animals are properly restrained, it reduces stress on the animal, reduces stress on the farmer, and it reduces the chances of an accident occurring or an injury such as back pain being endured. Strangers or visitors to the farm can also have an effect on animal behaviour. The appearance of a vet for a TB test or an emergency call out could be enough to make an animal feel stressed. So we must exercise even more caution during these times and this is where good facilities are also such an important asset to the farm. One final thing I want to speak about is what we call an animal's point of balance. This is an extremely important factor to bear in mind when doing something like loading a crush. The 
point of balance is like an imaginary line across the animal's front shoulder. When a person walks towards their head, the animal will move backwards, and when a person walks towards their tail, the animal will move forward. This is extremely important to know and to bear in mind when trying to lower animals in a crush. If somebody is standing in the wrong position, it will stress animals out as they are being forced to move against their natural point of balance, and it may cause unpredictable behaviour such as trying to jump the crush. It is vital that anybody working with livestock or even helping out for a day knows and understands this characteristic of animals in order to maintain a stress-free and safe working environment. Thanks for listening. Thank you.